Puli Khat Lake. The Puli Khat Lake, a coastal wetland, spreads across Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu, is one among the 170 wetland network of India and is identified as a potential important bird area of the BirdLife International and as one of the coastal flyways used by a number of pelagic and coastal migrants linking point Kalimir in Tamil Nadu with Chilika in Orissa. Pulikat Lake, a shallow brackish water lagoon declared as a bird sanctuary in the year 1976 formed out of backwaters of the Bay of Bengal is the second largest brackish water lagoon in India having an area of approximately 600 square kilometers and varies in depth of 1 to 3 meters. India has a strategic role in the Central Asian Flyway as it provides critical stop oversights to over 90% of bird species known to use the migratory route. Migratory water birds depend on a network of healthy wetlands for completing their migratory cycle. Rivers Arani, Swaranamukhi, Kalangi and smaller streams inflows the fresh water into the lagoon. The two tidal inlets of the Bay of Bengal, which opens into the lagoon at Tupli Palam, Raya Dorovo, brings sea water and favors larval development of fishes and shrimps. So far, 215 species of birds are recorded across Pulikat Lake, including the Sri Harikota Island. Around 2 lakh migrant water birds feed and breed in the northern part of the lagoon during winter. The congregations of greater flamingos is the main attraction of Pulikat Lake. Greater flamingo is a short distant migratory bird which arrive from the greater run of Kutch during October and leave during April. The arrival of shorebirds starts from August and continues till October, thereafter from December to January. Paleartic migrants arrive in April, May and July indicates that Punikat Lake acts as a facilitating site for shorebirds in the Central Asian Flyway. Heming stint appears to be rare in summer at the Gulf of Manar, which is seen in Pulikat Lake. Kentish plover and little ringed plover observed to breed in Pulikat Lake. Around the Pulikat Lake area have heronries like Nellapattu, Vedurupattu, Parangali, and Sri Harikota, which supports 13 species of colonial waterbirds. Nellapattu, which is at a distance of 20 kilometers from Pulikat Lake, was declared as a sanctuary by the government and is a highly protected sanctuary. Open-billed stalk, spot-billed pelican, black-headed ibis. These birds breed here and forage in Pulikat. Recently, ringing of birds has been started by the forest department with collaboration with BNHS to know the migratory patterns of the birds of Pulikat. More research studies are invited regarding the birds. Apart from the rich biodiversity of the Pulikat Lake, the lake supports the livelihood of around 30,000 fishermen. Excessive fishing is causing severe anthropogenic pressure on the lake. Seamounts closure less inflow of fresh water into the lake, fragmentation of lake by formation of roads are the present and potential threats to the existence of Pulikat Lake and needs attention. Pulikat Bird Sanctuary, a well-protected and managed wetland by the Forest Department of Andhra Pradesh. This wetland of international importance is conserved well to ensure smooth passage for migratory water birds along the Central Asian Flyway.